Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. This time we will talk about finding the equation of a circle in general form. Let us have an example. Write the equation of a circle in general form with center at the origin and a radius of 6 units. Let us illustrate the given problem. So the center is at point zero zero and the radius which is 6 units. So, how are we going to find the equation of this circle? First, let us identify the given, the center, which is at the origin or at point zero zero, and the radius, which is equal to 6 units, or R is equal to 6. Second step is, we're going to write first in standard form of the equation of the circle. And if you're going to observe, the center is at the origin. If that is at the origin, we will be using the formula x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So, we're just going to replace the variable r here with the value of r in our given, which is equal to 6. So, this will become now x squared plus y squared is equal to 6 squared. Simplifying this expression x squared plus y squared is equal to 36. So this is the standard form of the equation of the circle where the center is at the origin and a radius of 6 units. Third step, from step 2 which is the standard form, we're going to rewrite now in general form. So, our step 2 equation is x squared plus y squared is equal to 36. Subtracting both sides of the equation, so x squared plus y squared minus 36 is equal to 36 minus 36. So, this will become now x squared plus y squared minus 36 is equal to, simplifying this expression, this is equal to 0. So we have now the general form of the equation of the circle with center at the origin and a radius of 6 units. Let us have another example. Write the equation of the circle in general form with coordinates of the center at point negative 2, 3 and radius 5. Let us illustrate the given problem. So the center is at point negative 2, 3 and the radius is 5 units. So first step, let us identify the given. So the center is at point negative 2, 3 and the radius is equal to 5 units or R is equal to 5. Next step is we are going to write first in standard form of the equation of the circle. So, since the center is not at the origin, we will be using another formula, which is the square of the quantity x minus h plus the square of the quantity y minus k is equal to r squared. Take note that the center of a circle is at point hk. So, our value of h is negative 2 and k is 3. So, we will be replacing those values in our given formula. So, this will be now equal to x minus the value of h which is negative 2. Okay, the square of the quantity x minus negative 2 plus y minus the value of k which is 3. So, the square of the quantity y minus 3 is equal to r squared and that will be 5 squared. Simplifying the expression in our given equation, so this will become now the square of the quantity x plus 2. x minus negative 2 is x plus 2 plus the square of the quantity y minus 3 and then 5 squared, that's 25. So, this is the standard form of the equation of the circle.
from our previous equation, the square of the quantity x plus 2 plus the square of the quantity y minus 3 is equal to 25. To be able to rewrite this in general form, we will expand this expression or we will going to square x plus 2 and square y minus 3. So the square of x plus 2 is x squared plus 4x plus 4. How did we get that? We square the first term. So that's x squared. We multiply the first and last times the constant term 2. So that's 4x. And then we square the last term. So that's 4. We will do the same with this expression. So plus the square of y. So that's y squared. Then y times negative 3 times 2. So that's minus 6y. And then square negative 3, that's 9. So that's y squared minus 6y plus 9 is equal to 25. Take note that the general form of the equation of the circle is in the form of x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0, where d, e, f here are numbers. So to be able to rewrite this in general form, we're going to combine the first terms of every group. So x squared plus y squared, so that is x squared plus y squared. And then let's combine also their second term. So 4x plus negative 6y, so that is plus 4x minus 6y. Then let's combine their last terms. So that's 4 plus 9. That's 13. Is equal to 25. Now, let us subtract both sides of the equation by 25. So this will become now x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 6y plus 13 minus 25 is equal to 25 minus 25. Take note that the right side part of the equation should be equal to 0. So that's why we subtract both sides of the equation by 25. So simplifying our previous equation, so x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 6y. So that's 13 minus 25. That's negative 12. It's equal to 25 minus 25. So that is equal to 0. So this is now the general form of the equation of the circle. Okay. Thank you for watching and learning with me. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my video.